Again, thank you all for joining the webinar today. My name is Yarin Negri, and I work for Inflock. Um, today's webinar is going to cover Cardilog's Voice of Customer tool. And I'll start out with a brief um, agenda we I'd like to cover today. So I'll start out with a quick introduction for those of you who are not familiar with Inflock and what we do, um, followed by a demonstration of the Voice of Customer tool. And then I'll make sure to leave enough time for Q&A. Um, the whole webinar should take about 30 minutes. Now, if you do have any questions throughout the webinar, feel free to enter those questions in the GoToWebinar panel under the questions or chat box. And I'll make sure to answer your questions at the end of the webinar. So a quick introduction for those who are not familiar with Intlock. We've been around for seven years now, almost eight years. Um, since 2005, and been focused on one main field, and that's web analytics and marketing tools designed specifically for SharePoint. SharePoint is our passion, and what we try to help customers do is improve their portals with things like web analytics and the voice of customer tool that I'll show you in a few moments. So with web analytics, we're able to help our customers answer some of the questions that you can see here. For example, things like who's using the portal, what's being accessed, what's not being accessed, and what can we get rid of, what are people searching for within the portal, what are they downloading, and so forth. So we can really answer a lot of the unknowns about our portal. But from feedback from our customers, uh, we were told that Web Analytics is great, but it doesn't provide all the information that our customers would like to know about the portal usage. And so we've added the Voice of Customer tool, which essentially is a survey and communication tool. You can see a screenshot of that at the bottom right of this screenshot here. So the idea is to really create these um, easy-to-use uh, pop-up surveys to add into our SharePoint intranet. And some of the ways that we can use the survey tool is to create satisfaction polls, um, page-based comments, real-time feedback, so as users are browsing the intranet, we can actually get their feedback in these different polls. We can, of course, segment the polls and provide different audiences different messages or ask them different questions. So show the marketing team poll A and show our finance team poll B and really get answers, the right answers with the right questions to different audiences. Of course, we, we can connect to tools like Active Directory, CRM, and so forth. So some of the ways that we can help improve our portal is to increase uh, productivity. We can help drive collaboration, improve portal ROI, engage with our users, get feedback from them, um, and really make sure that we're getting the most out of our investment in SharePoint. I'm going to show you a few examples before I dive into the demonstration of how the tool can be used. So we can, of course, define both um, multiple choice answers or open text-based answer. So in this case, we're asking a question. The user answers yes, and then we can ask for additional information. In this case, that would be their email address. We can also uh, provide open text-based answer. So in this case, we're asking a very general question. What's the purpose of your visit? And our users can enter any text they want to answer the question. Making sure that our users are able to find the content that they're looking for. And if not, we can have them elaborate and share with us a little more about what they can't find. And then we can go back and surface that content to make sure that it is more accessible. Accessible, sorry. In this case, you can see an example of how we can connect to Active Directory and actually engage with the user by showing their username or department. In this case, we're pulling information from two data sources. One is the user's name from Active Directory. And second, we know what tasks she's working on. Uh, we can connect to CRM, ERP, or really any other database and really ask questions about different projects that she's working on, different accounts that she's working on in CRM and actually survey the users based on both her username and also um, the projects she's working on. In this case, 
segmenting this um, specific survey by a SharePoint profile. Uh, so you can, of course, connect to AD groups, to user attributes, and then show different user attributes, um, different profiles. And I'll also mention, I'm not showing this here at the moment, but you can also segment our um, surveys by anonymous data. So if you're using Cardiolog or the Voice of Customer tool for a public-facing website, where you are anonymous, we can also show different surveys, different users based on their anonymous data. So their traffic sources, their search terms, what they've done previously on, on the site, or how much time they're spending on a specific page. All right, and then here, last example, we can also show feedback or how other folks answer the survey. Let me go ahead and jump right into the demo environment. So here as I scroll up and down on this um, SharePoint 2010 website at the bottom, you can actually see what one of these surveys looks like. And then we'll go ahead and take a different page. Let's take the About Us page here. Okay, so here there's no survey as you can see. Let's go in and let me show you how easy it is to create our own survey. And I'll enter the Cardiolog user interface that you can see here. And here on the left-hand side, I'll jump into the Voice of Customer tab here at the bottom. All right, and here you can see some of the surveys that we've already created. Let me show you a few examples here at the bottom. At the bottom right of the screen, you can see some previews. So here again, an open text-based answer. Um, here's a multiple choice answer, so asking either yes or no. Another multiple choice answer, a qu answered survey, um, asking if we're able to find the content we're looking for. And let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to create a survey from scratch. So I'll click on Add Survey. I'll give my survey a name. This will be called How Are You Today? And that'll also be the question we want to appear. And then I'll decide if it's going to be an open text-based answer or multiple choice with a single optional answer or multiple answers. Let's take single. And I'll keep this easy. We'll call this the first answer will be good. The second answer will be not so good. And of course, I can add as many answers as I'd like here. But let's stick to just two replies. So I'll remove these. All right. And so here I have um, the name of the survey, the question, the two answers that I want to appear. Next, I'll define what page or pages I want the survey to appear on. So I'm going to paste the, uh, the URL of the About Us page because that's what I want where I want this survey to appear, but of course I can also select a, an area of my portal or site from the um, Object Explorer here, so I can select a site collection and the survey will appear on all pages within that site. So you can really specify um, if you want this on a specific page or if you want this survey to appear on multiple ch pages within the site. Next I can specify who will view this survey. So as I mentioned earlier, I can define that this survey will appear for a specific AD group, for example. Um, or if I'm working with anonymous users, then I can actually specify a specific um, segment of those anonymous users. And I'll go into a little more details in a moment about segments, just to give you an idea of what we can do with segments. Then I'll define um, what I'd like the survey to look like. So we have two options, light and dark. And finally, I'll activate the survey and I'll hit save. All right, and now let's go back to the SharePoint 2010 site to see what that survey looks like. So I'm back on the home page and I'll browse again to the About Us page. All right, and here as we browse, we can now see at the bottom the pop-up survey. How are you? Almost today. Um, a little spelling mistake there, but let's submit good. 
And that's it. That's all we need to do to create a survey and then to answer it. Let's go back to our survey tool. And now under the survey, how are you today? We can also see that it was viewed one time by us. And also we have one reply. I'm going to show you what the responses look like. All right, so here we can see um, the two answers that I that I wrote down, sorry, and um, the number of replies that each one received. So very, very easy for our non-IT end users, whether if this is a website for our marketing folks to use, or if we're talking about an intranet for um, human resources, internal communications, or any other business group that has no IT background, it's very, very easy to come in, create the survey, add the questions, define the page, and the users want to view the survey, and get this up and running. Now, let me show you a little bit more about segments as well for those folks who are running this tool on their public-facing website. So here in segments, we can define our audience by in a few ways. The first is their traffic source. So we can define anyone who comes from a specific um, referring page or referring site. So anyone who comes from our uh, Facebook page, for example, from our Twitter stream. We can define a search term being used in search engines like Google and Bing. So for example, anyone who comes, who searches for life insurance um, in Bing and arrives at our homepage, we can define that only for those users, a survey will appear, for example. And of course, if we're launching our own campaign, so for example, an email campaign, um, pay-per-click campaign, and so forth, we can also define those as segments. Next, we can define segments by the behavior that our, our users are taking on our website. By behavior, I mean things like the number of visits they've made to the site, the number of page views they have. We can go into more details like specific pages they viewed and the number of times they viewed that page um, or the number of seconds that they spent on a page. So this is a great example for the survey tool. I can define that anyone who spends, let's say, 60 seconds on a page, a small pop-up pop survey will appear and ask if they need any assistance, if they want any support or anything of that sort. So that's regarding their behavior on our website. And then finally, I can define um, a segment by their details and demographics. So for example, things like their operating system, their browser they're using, uh, the country in which they're, they're browsing physically, and then again, I can show different surveys, different users based on their country, so in different languages, or if there are different products that, e that different users from different countries are interested in, I can tailor, so on the same page, a user from Canada will see a different survey than a user from um, France, for example. So that's just to give you a um, closer idea, a better idea of segments and how we can interact with anonymous users. But again, for those of you who are using this tool for an internal portal, then we can simply filter by um, AD groups, by SharePoint profiles, and things of that sort. So that was a quick introduction to the Cardilog Voice of Customers, Voice of Customer tool. I see there are a few questions in the um, question box. So if there are any more questions at this time, I'd be more than happy um, to answer. So feel free to enter those in the chat box. Uh, before I do get to questions, I'll quickly mention that you can find more information about this tool at our website, intlock.com. You can also sign up there for a demonstration for your team if you'd like us to go into more details and um, show you how, we, how this can be used um, to achieve your requirements. And of course, you can also deploy um, a, a demonstration, uh, sorry, you can also deploy a trial to try it on your own. Um, I see there are several customers of, of the Cardilog tool on this call as well. And so I'll mention that for all of our current customers, this tool is provided for free. So you can just reach out to your account manager and they'll provide you with more information of how you can deploy this tool on top of your current Cardilog web analytics tool. 
So having said that, um, I'll go over some of the questions that we have here. All right, so the first question is asking about um, multiple environments um, and if we can track both internet and internet. So um, I, I guess the question what was at the beginning of the webinar, since I, I mentioned that we do monitor or this can be used both for intranet environments with authenticated users and also with um, extranet or internet sites where users aren't necessarily authenticated and in most cases, especially in an internet site, are anonymous. So we can definitely use this tool for those different environments. And regarding the other part of that question for multiple environments, I'll jump back here into the demo just to show you an example here. Or I can actually show this to you from here. If I open up a new segment, if I create a new segment, uh, survey, sorry, and I define which area. Here in my demo environment, you can actually see that I have two different um, sites, two different environments. One is this Xtech website that I showed you earlier, and the other is a SharePoint intranet. So we can actually use this tool on all of our platforms, intranet, extranet, and public facing website. And also we can use it for both SharePoint and non-SharePoint environments. So I mentioned earlier that SharePoint is our passion and our sweet spot, but we have many customers who use a variety of technologies. So for customers using SharePoint for their intranet and some other platform like .NET or uh, WordPress, for example, for their internet site, we can definitely monitor um, these different technologies, different environments using a single deployment of Cardiolog. So again, just to answer that question, we can definitely monitor um, or use this tool for your different environments and both for SharePoint and for non-SharePoint environments. I see one more question here regarding, um, let's see, Rob is asking how licensing works. Okay, great question, Rob. Uh, so the license is a perpetual license, a one-time fee for ownership of this tool. Um, all of our prices are made public, so you can uh, browse to our website and see the different editions that we offer um, and the prices for each edition. And more than I'll mention that um, we are providing this voice of customer tool for free. Um, so there, there'll be a certain amount of surveys that you can provide um, your users, and you can use this for um, absolutely no cost. So I do encourage you to go check that out. And of course, contact us if you'd like more information and need any help getting that deployed. So I see that's all the questions we have um, this afternoon. I'll stick around for a few more minutes in case there are any more questions. But again, if you have any other questions in the next few days, feel free to either send me an email directly, and I have my email here on this last slide, um, or fill out a contact us form on our website. We'd be happy to either schedule a demonstration for your team um, and to help you, of course, get this up and running on your environment. So again, for now, I thank you all for joining, and I wish you all a great day.